Whoa! Hey there, guys. Didn't see you there. In my locked apartment. How, how do you guys... Welcome, friends, to my very humble abode. Let me give you guys a quick tour. Yep, there's there. Yep, uh-huh. Yep, and that's all four corners. Uh, now let me show you my favorite place. The kitchen! You see, my masterpieces made it up on the fridge. My math test. Got a D for Drew. Uh-huh. Still got up last year's December calendar so I can have seasonal depression all year long. Down here is where I keep the trash. A little bit higher, a little bit higher. Yep, there's the trash. Over here, for some reason, the phone plug doesn't fit. I don't know, it's weird. Up here is where I keep the food coloring, except I'm always getting all the colors mixed up. Not a good problem to have while driving. Uh, but seriously, whose idea was it to make yellow look red and red look red? Uh, I swear, if this isn't yellow, that... I swear, when I mix this up, if this isn't yellow... <sighs> now what, hold on guys. Let's see if we can fix this. I swear to goodness gracious, if this isn't yellow... That... Ah, there we go. In my place, all the cooking is done by my GF. So I'd like you to meet my very special someone. This is my lovely uh, George Foreman. Yes, indeed, trusty old George. Oh, you guys thought I was talking about a girlfriend, didn't you? <sighs> nah, just like my fridge, she left running. <laughs> but my old babe did leave some of her stuff laying around. Uh, like for, oh yes, indeed, here is, yo. Yep, she left it. <sighs> Still cold. Now here's something I just learned. If an egg floats, that means it's bad. That one's still good. Oh, here's something else. Did you guys know that cheese sticks on the wall? Yeah, cheese sticks on the wall. So I keep the hearts in the fridge and the heads in the freezer. Let's see, oh, here it is. Yep, there's the heads. Ah! Yeah. Ah. Nuggets, what are you doing in there? Let's see, what else? Oh, over here is where I keep the kid-sized cups. Down here is where I keep the funnels and the world's most inefficient funnel. And I'm still not entirely sure what this thing is. Over here is my cutting board. A little bit of a misnomer, doesn't really, doesn't really cut. Here is where I keep the stolen contraband. <gasps> now these days with Taco Bell selling french fries and Burger King selling tacos, you can basically go anywhere you want and ask them to supersize it. And well, the, oh wow, well, the loo just that, wow. Ironically, Rastafarians don't drink alcohol or else they'd have jacuzzis. We all know that if you pour salt into water, it'll dissolve and then disappear. But not many people know that if your hands are sweaty enough. That's right, sweaty enough you can ugh, pour a little bit of salt into <laughs> your hands just like that. And it'll also, it'll also disappear. Strange enough though, it'll, it'll reappear in your, your other hand. But the best part is if you try it with sugar. That's right, if you pour some sugar into your hand instead, just like that, it'll, uh, it doesn't dissolve. Even if it's really sweaty, instead you just get a, uh, a melted candy. Mm. I'm actually making seafood tonight. Yep. Ugh. Don't you hate when they forget to take the muscles out? Ugh, gross. Tomorrow I'm actually hosting a pot roast. I heard you were so dumb your teachers thought you were a colander. Ooh, that was pretty bad. I'm sorry guys if some of these jokes don't pan out. Over here is my slow cooker, except it cooks food way too fast. Should have known it was gonna be a crock. Let's see what's in it today. Crikey! Mother always used to tell me, don't eat the seeds in that apple, that watermelon, especially not inside that avocado, or else you'll start having fruit grow inside your belly. And when I was a kid, I was like, don't want that to happen. And I grew up and I realized she was tricking me. Then I got even older and I realized, wait a second, no, mothers are always right. And in fact, you can grow fruit inside of your belly. That's right, and that's what we're gonna do today. So as much as you guys wanna see me swallow some cantaloupe seeds today, I'm not gonna do it. Instead, we're gonna use a simulation stomach. A balloon. All right, we're gonna place one of the seeds right inside of the balloon, and then we are gonna give it space, time, and most importantly, 
saliva to grow. Oh, okay, let's, let's, let's see it. Oh. oh, wait a second. Stop shrieking. About the size of maybe a, a big apple. Let's give it some more space time, saliva. Let's. Oh, wait a second. Maybe, maybe now it's grapefruit size. We need even more time. Here we go. And wait a second. Just like that. Nozzle's wide open, but it stopped shrinking because now there's something inside about the size of a cantaloupe, about the weight of a cantaloupe. But there's one way to find out, and that's by popping the balloon. That's right. We're going to put a little bit more air inside to pop it. Just like that. Now, I'm not going to uh, pop it myself uh, because we need it to be swallowed for it to really grow. Uh, so uh, I can't quite swallow that. <laughs> Might have a big mouth, not that big. So instead, we are going to use the jaw of death. <laughs> That's right, this is the jaw of death. Up here, we have the throat. We're gonna shove that balloon with a cantaloupe inside, straight down the throat, just like this, down the gullet. Don't try this at home, kids, all right? All the way down. And you guys can see on the other side of the jaw of death, we have four crooked, Teeth. We are in Virginia, after all. So here we go, guys. On the count of three, I'm going to slam it down. So if you guys don't like loud noises, you know what to do. Here we go, guys. We go one, two, three. And take a look as we get... We... We... We, we get a cantaloupe. Whew, so that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or just come on over so we can catch up. Now that's a wrap.